Hello everyone and welcome to Starfield. Today we're gonna play Space Duck Pong game, whatever, it doesn't really have a name yet. So the thing this works is, each of us has eight ducks. We played on this table. Before the game starts, we get to put the ducks on the table in any way we like. So there's numbers on the table, one, two, three, four, five, and ten eventually. And you kind of want to put the ducks on the table as a protection. So you don't want the opponent to throw their duck into the 10. So you can kind of block the 10 like that. I get to do that first. And my friend Luke here gets to do it then with his side of the table. You can also decide not to put a duck on the table. In that case, just put them on the side. Each duck on the side of your table basically uh, is part of your stash. And you can always grab ducks from your stash to throw them to the other side. First I get to throw, then Luke gets to throw, then I get to throw, and so forth. When you throw a duck, you can grab them from your stash, or you grab them from your table. Throw them to the other side. You can also use the window or the ceiling. That's all fine, as long as you stand behind your table. If your duck lands on one of the numbers, that's the amount of ducks that the opponent has to give to you. So if I throw this duck, and it happens to land on the two, then Luke has to give me two of his ducks. He can grab them from his stash, or he can grab them from his table, and they get added to my stash. Now, that was my throw, and then Luke can throw. Say he throws the duck behind the table, then that duck gets added to my stash, and I have extra ammunition to throw with. The same happens when the duck lands on the table, then he gets points, he gets one of my ducks, but that duck that's on my table is still mine, so I get to throw with that later. If you have a duck on your stash, you cannot lay them back on the table, but you can grab a duck from the table to throw them. If there's any reason that you don't really know where the duck is, like in this case, it's kind of in the middle of a zero and a one, just look where the tip of the bill ends, which is on the one, that's the number that counts. And I think that's basically all. If a duck gets knocked off the table by another duck, Everything that's off the table gets added to the stash on that side. And in the end, one of the players will end up without any ducks. And then the player with all the ducks is the person who wins. Now, if you don't know how to throw anything in Starfield, or any other Bethesda game for that matter, you can look at an item, and then it says take E to uh, take it into your inventory. But if you hold it, hold E, eventually you will pick it up. You can rotate it with left and right mouse button. And then if you tap shift, you can choose different rotation axis. Then if you want to put it back on the ground, you tap E again and it falls back. Or you can decide to throw it, which you do by either tapping R, which is a light throw, or by holding R, which is a heavy throw. Right, so here we are. This is my wall of ducks. They will protect all my numbers. And now it's Luke's turn to create his wall of ducks. I will just say that I'm done for this. I just did what Hugo did, but I also covered some of the top numbers. So you'll have a harder time hitting it, hopefully. So yeah, let's see how that goes. All right, the game is going to start now. You know what, Luke, you can throw the first duck if you want to. All right. So since you don't have any ducks in your stash, you need to pick one up for your board and throw that to my sides. Let's not grab the one that covers the 10. God damn it. Yeah, that's what happened a lot. I did not expect that could go this far. <laughs> there's, there's one rule I forgot to tell. Mm -hmm. If a duck happens to land on my side of the table mm -hmm. or my side below uh, beside the table, <laughs> That duck automatically gets added to the stash of the other player. So you need to make it to the other side in any case. So in this case, it's on Luke's part of the table, but there's no points here. As you can see, one point, two point. Mm -hmm. This part is zero points. So it just stays here until Luke decides to pick it up and use it as ammunition. Your turn. Okay, so this can stay here now, but uh, I just can't move it, I guess, like a wall. You can't move any ducks on the table. You can only pick them up and throw them. All right. Okay, let's go for a steeper angle this time. Boing. That was terrible. <laughs> I 
Ooh. That is not a 10. That is not a 10. That is not a 10. The beak is outside. It's a zero. What? In fact, it's more defense for you. Yoink. Ooh. Mm. Not bad. But not good either. Yep. <laughs> it's more like it. So you can also decide to just throw the duck at full force at one of the barriers to throw the other ducks off the table to remove the defenses. And I would also I would like to try out some more. Try that. Okay, I'm gonna try to yeet it. Oh no. Ooh, that's effective. <laughs> nice throw. What well, I guess then. I will just do the same thing to you. <gasps> I am so <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fuck. Right, goodbye. How did that? That did nothing. Okay, I'm gonna try to use that duck to slow me down. That is not fair. Who? Yes, points. Is it a 10? No. Six? It's a probably a one. Might be a one. It's the tip tip of the duck's bill. I think it's oh, a one. Okay. Which means you get to keep this duck, and I get to uh, I get one of your ducks. Which duck do you want to give to me? Oh, I get to choose. Yes. Oh, I guess then one of uh, one of them ones on the floor. Ah. <laughs> I <laughs> okay, let's, let's try to do that and then short. Ooh. How? My defenses are too strong. I blame the physics. I like what I did before. If the well, that's a ten. <laughs> that's that ten. That, that's that's a ten. <laughs> I have minus one duck now. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have minus four. Well, um, that's um, Space Duck Pong thingy. Uh, I hope you liked the video. <laughs> Thank you, Luke, for collaborating. Yeah, that was good. And um, anyone watching this, try this for yourself.